Francisco. Soil Not Oil, the book I wrote in 2009, grew out of the awareness that the climate discussions were totally ignoring both the biggest cause of greenhouse gas emissions as well as the biggest solution, which is our soil. 50% of all emissions, whether it be carbon dioxide or it be nitrous oxide or it be methane, come from an industrial, wasteful, fossil fuel based, chemical based industrial system driven by corporations. And how many? A cartel of three which found brilliant ways to take the war chemicals of Hitler's Germany, IG Farben, into agrochemicals and has today created birth defects among children in Argentina, in Bhopal, in Vietnam. They have created cancer epidemics as the recent court decision in California shows, as the WHO report shows. They are killing 200,000 people every year through pesticide poisoning as the UN Rapporteur on Food report, Hilal Elvers report shows. This is a toxic culture from a toxic mind. Grew out of fossil fuels, every chemical in agriculture comes from industrial farming. Every chemical comes from fossil fuels. That's the culture of fossil fuel oil. But there's living carbon. We are part of it. We are living carbon. All the biodiversity around me and Navdanya's beautiful biodiversity farm, which has grown without any fossil fuels, without any chemicals. Our earthworms, the earthworm castings, Darwin had said when the evolutionary history is written, the earthworm will be recognized as the sig most significant species for humanity's survival on Earth. He didn't say fossil fuels. He said the Earth and its castings, which give you more nitrogen than any fertilizer factory can, which then give you emissions and dead zones. In the soil is the answer to climate havoc. In the soil is the answer to a plastic-free, pesticide-free, fossil fuel future. I think it's time to join hands join with the earth, become one with the soil. Remember, we are earth citizens. It's only through earth democracy will we cultivate a future. As members of a consumer culture, of a fossil fuel economy, driven by corporations in a dumb way to our extermination, we can be sure there is no future. There is a future in the soil. There's a future in our oneness with the soil. Let's cultivate it together. Once again, my loving greetings, my greetings of hope, my greetings that we will sow the seeds of a future of freedom, a future of life. 50% of the tickets that we 
distribute this year is for scholarship, volunteer opportunities, so we are not really a big project. But we have, we have been supported by so many people. And I was very impressed with the speech of the executive director of the Indigenous Environmental Network, whose, whose name is Tom Goldsuth. Everyone knows him, and he's here. And he's our first keynote speaker, and I want to invite him to welcome you to this all all Conference 2018. Thanks so much. We're here for the Jerry Brown and Michael Bloomberg's initiative called the Global Climate Action Summit. Uh, we've been part of forming the Soul to Soul Solidarity and Solutions. Uh, we have a lot of activities we're planning on Tuesday. We were part of the organizing of the march of bringing frontline communities, uh, standing with the people's climate movement with that. Um, so I'm the executive director of the Indigenous Environmental Network. and We were formed in 1990 by youth and elders. Um, and it's around uh, bringing attention, lifting and amplifying the voices of frontline communities. Working for environmental and, econ and economic justice is spiritual work that reaffirms our human relationship and the responsibility to protect the sacredness of Mother Earth and the recognition of Father Sky. One of the goals of this uh, work is to secure a healthy and safe environment for all peoples, all future generations, with no disparities in who is more protected. When we organize along with people of color, we said we're all in this together. We don't want toxic waste in our backyard, but we don't want it in anyone else's backyard. We have to have a new way that we love Mother Earth and stop this violence against her. Why is society so violent against Mother Earth, wanting to kill her spirit? She is my mother. She is my grandmother, Unchimaka. Don't destroy my mother. Respect her. Love her. Don't sell her in this system that has no value for her. Earth jurisprudence recognizes the concept that we only have one Mother Earth. We must stand together in solidarity to protect her.